Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Gary Tubafoy here bringing you another Minecraft Cold War vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Centurion Mark I. The Centurion was the primary British main battle tank of the post Second World War period. Introduced in 1945, it is widely considered to be one of the most successful post-war tank designs, remaining in production into the 1960s and seeing combat in front lines into the 1980s. The chassis was adapted for several other roles and these have remained in service to this day. Development of the Centurion began in 1943 with manufacture beginning in January of 1945. Six prototypes arrived in Belgium less than a month after the war in Europe ended in May of 1945. It first entered combat with the British Army in the Korean War in 1950 in support of United Nations forces. The Centurion later served in the Indo-Pakistani War of 1965 where it fought against U.S. supplied M47 and M48 patent tanks and it served with the Royal Australian Armored Corps in Vietnam. Uh, the Centurion uh, obviously seen widespread service. It's still in service with some uh, operators to this, to this day, so pretty crazy stuff. Um, a tank being introduced in 1945 and still you know, kicking and being used by some military. So pretty good stuff all around there uh, for the Centurion. Um, so this is, I believe, a uh, new model. I might have, might have been a redesign. I know I did have a Centurion Mark I on my roll before, but this is uh, a new design replacing it. I don't know if I ever did a tutorial for it, so uh, not 100% sure on that one. Uh, but yeah, nice to get a new design out for it. I'm considering this a Cold War vehicle as it really didn't see service in World War II. Um, it was from the kind of era, but it's definitely more of a Cold War um, tank since it you know, took more of a, uh, took, took, played more of a role in, uh, the Cold War, so that's what we're going to go and classify it as, uh, for this tutorial. Um, overall, really nice looking, um, tank, lots of good little detail on it, and, um, you know, a nice iconic tank to finally build and have on our, uh, tutorial board as a build for you guys. Alright guys, so going ahead and taking a look at the build itself, um, start off with, we have obviously the gun, uh, which is a 105mm rifled gun, uh, we then have the mantlet located right here, which is kind of more of, um, not really a mantlet too much, it's kind of got like a fabric type uh, kind of canvas covering or something of that sort. Um, not exactly sure uh, why, but it does have it, so that's what that kind of is mimicking here with this birch wood planks. We then have uh, the front here, the driver's viewport here with the two um, zombie heads there, and uh, basically the driver's section will be located right in that section there. Um, the tracks here, side armor um, over the tracks as you can see, and then coming back to the turret, um, lots of little details here on the sides all around it. Um, these little boxes and stuff that would little pop out from um, the side of the, the vehicle. Um, there's also the machine gun located right there. Um, some smoke grenade dispensers on both sides. And um, it's definitely got a really unique kind of machine gun mount um, for the coaxial. Kind of a little bit of a unique design, how it kind of pops out. Um, kind of weird too. Uh, radio antennas, all the back details, all that fun stuff for vents and all that. And we have the exhaust here and just a little detailing here and there for it. Um, so overall, really nice looking tank. I think it came out really nice and will obviously make a cool addition to any of your Cold War scenarios. Um, again, a real early kind of Cold War tank uh, playing a part in Korean, the Korean War, Vietnam War. So uh, definitely would be a uh, interesting build to have. Anyways, that's going to do it for this overview. Let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layers. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer. We'll be going ahead and beginning with layer number uh, 0 and 1. For these layers to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a green terracotta block like this, followed by a second one coming off of it to the side. We then want to place down two narrow brick slabs coming off the row to a green terracotta, and then two narrow brick top slabs like that coming off them like that. And we're going to have the tank facing that direction, so kind of give you guys an idea of where those are facing. When that's done there, we're going to go ahead and then break the ground here, place down two narrow brick blocks in the ground. We're then going to place down two green terracotta blocks. Again, break the ground, two narrow brick blocks like this two green terracotta blocks, two narrow brick blocks, two green terracotta blocks, two narrow brick blocks, two green terracotta blocks, two narrow brick blocks, and two green terracotta blocks like that, followed by two narrow brick slabs, and then two narrow brick top slabs like that to go ahead and finish that off there. We then want to go ahead and go to the side here of these green terracotta blocks. We're going to place down stone buttons on the ends of the green terracotta blocks, and then we're going to place down item frames on those blocks. And then in the item frames, you just want to place down a green terracotta block like that, to go ahead and finish off the wheels like so. With that all done, we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves some dark oak wood slabs. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of dark oak wood top slabs across from this green terracotta block, and then one and two green terracotta blocks out to the side here like so. And over here on this side, two narrow brick slabs, two narrow brick top slabs. We're going to basically copy the same track design we did over on the other side over to this side. 
So I'm just going to go and do this a little bit more quickly since I've already kind of covered how to do it, but just know it's the same thing uh, on both sides here for the tracks. And we're just going to keep going this all the way back here and come back to this point back here. Now once that's finished there, we're going to go ahead and go to the side of these green terracotta blocks. We're going to place down stone buttons along the side here, and then we then want to go ahead and take item frames and place down item frames on the side of those green terracotta blocks. In the item frames themselves, we're going to place down green terracotta blocks, again, making those uh, road wheel designs. Now for the rear here, uh, we're going to go ahead and take uh, dark oak with trap doors, and in between the um, green terracotta blocks, we're going to place down a row of three of the dark oak with trap doors. We then want to take our dark oak with top slabs and place down a row of three across. We can then go and fill in the space in between the top slabs like so to go ahead and create the bottom here of the tank. And we'll just go and fill this in like that and you have the base of your tank set up. With that all complete, that is going to wrap up layer uh, zero for one of the tank. Here's what it looks like from up above. Pretty straightforward, nothing too crazy. And with that, we're going to go and move into our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to go ahead and begin with, we're going to place down another brick stair that is going to go ahead and go across these two narrow brick slabs. Um, same thing here on both sides there for the front of the tracks. Once that's finished there, we're going to go ahead and go to the insides here of these stairs. We're going to place down a dark oak wood sign on the side of the stair, and same thing over here. After that, we're going to take our green terracotta blocks, place down one and two on the side, one and two over here. And on the side of these green terracotta blocks, we're going to place down a stone button and an item frame and we then want to go ahead and place down a cobweb in the item frame like this and that will create your front sprocket wheels with that done we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of five of green terracotta going across the middle here with a dark oak wood upside down stair here on both sides so just like this on both sides and we also want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood sign on the side of the stair with that done, in the middle space here, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of dark oak wood stairs for the front sloping armor. After that's done, continuing on, we're going to go and take our green terracotta, we're going to place down a row of seven across. We then want to place down a second row of seven, going to lay across, followed by a third row. On both sides of this third row, we're going to place down a stone button. We then want to place down a fourth row of five across, a sixth row, a seventh row, and then after that, a eighth row all the way across like this with a stone button on both ends. With um, that all finished there, we're going to go ahead and then take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a uh, one last row of seven all the way across a green terracotta across. We're then going to place down a row of five across, followed by a dark oak wood upside down stair to both sides. And on the side of this dark oak wood upside down stair, we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign. When that's done there, we're going to take our green terracotta, place down a row of three across the middle here and then a dark oak wood top slab to both ends like so when that's done there we're going to take a green terracotta we're going to place down a row of seven across followed by a stone button on both sides and we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a item frame again we place down an item frame on the side here cobweb in the item frame and same thing over here just like that with that done we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of two of dark oak wood or sorry, nether brick stairs on top of those nether brick top slabs. And then across the middle space here, uh, we actually want to go ahead and swap out the green terracotta block right in this space for a mossy cobblestone wall. And we're then going to go ahead and take our dark oak wood slabs, and we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of dark oak wood slabs across the back there like so. We then want to place down a dark oak wood fence gate coming off the middle slab, opened up toward the slab itself, and then we want to go ahead and take some zombie heads and place them down on both sides of this dark oak wood fence gate. With uh, that all done, uh, we'll take a look at from up above here. This is what it looks like from up above. And uh, with that, that is going to wrap up layer number two. With that, let's move into layer number three. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three, we're going to go ahead and start off by grabbing ourselves some green carpet. And we're going to place down green carpet on top of these two narrow brick stairs, just like that. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark oak wood trap doors again. And we're going to place down two dark oak wood trap doors on top of those two green terracotta blocks like so. Once that's done, we're going to take our dark oak wood stairs and we're going to place down a uh, row of five of dark oak wood stairs across, followed by a lever on both sides, and we're going to have that flicked to uh, kind of connect up to this dark oak wood stair. And that's going to be the same thing there on both sides there. When that's done there, we're going to go and take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of five all the way across here. And we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a spruce wood stair. We're going to place down a spruce wood stair 
on both sides of that row of five. We then want to place down an item frame on the side of the spruce wood stair, and in the item frame itself we're going to place down a snowball for the front headlights. Once that's done, along the sides here we're going to take our spruce wood stairs and we're going to run it back one, two, three, four, five, and six. Spruce wood stairs back from this first stair here, and go over to the other side we're going to go do the same thing. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, and six spruce wood stairs back. We then want to take some spruce wood signs and we're going to place down spruce wood signs on the fronts here of these stairs. Going all the way down and going over here we're going to do the same thing. So just like this, all the way down, like so. And we can go ahead and then take our green terracotta and just fill the space in the middle here in between these spruce wood stairs. Now once that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and get to this point. Now when we get to this point here, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, row of two of mossy cobblestone walls down the middle. We're then going to place down two dark oak wood stairs like this to both sides of those mossy cobblestone walls. And then come off those dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down two dark oak wood stairs coming off of those ones like that out to the side there. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a zombie head. We're going to place down a zombie head coming off this back here of the stair. Same thing over here. And we then want to place down a granite wall coming off the back of this second stair like that to both sides. We're then going to take our green terracotta. We're going to place down two rows of three across the middle here. And we then want to go ahead and go to the sides here. We're going to go and grab ourselves green shulker boxes. And we're going to place down two green shulker boxes here on the sides there of that those rows of five of green terracotta. We then want to place down an item frame on the side of the shulker boxes like this facing toward the rear. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a black concrete block in the item frame like that for the um, hole there for the exhaust. Once that's done, we're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to place down a narrow row of five going all the way across. And to both sides here on this narrow brick stair, we're going to place down a green carpet. With that finished there, we're going to go ahead and then take our dark oak fence gates. We're going to place down a dark oak fence gate coming off those two green terracotta blocks. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood sign coming off the side here of those dark oak wood fence gates. Like that. With that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a spruce wood slab coming off this green terracotta block to the right here, and we're going to go ahead and place down spruce wood signs wrapped around the two sides like that to go ahead and make a little box there. When that's all done there, that is going to wrap up uh, layer number three for the build, and with that, let's move into our next layer, layer number four. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer. We're going ahead and moving into layer number four. For layer four, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and start off with our turret by taking some dark oak stairs, and we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of dark oak wood stairs across like that for the front there. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some redstone comparators. We're going to place down two redstone comparators like that, come off these two dark oak wood stairs over here to the right. And then we want to go ahead and place down two zombie heads on these two dark oak wood stairs as well, just like that. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of five across behind those dark oak wood stairs. And we want to go ahead and then take our green, or green terracotta and place down a second row of five like that all the way across as well. When that's done there, we're going to place down a narrow brick up down stair on both ends of this um, row 5 going across here. And we then want to place down a dark oak wood sign on the side of the stair. With that done, going toward the front here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a wither skeleton skull. We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on the back of the stairs like that. And then we want to go ahead and then place down a green banner coming off the um, narrow brick stair as well like that. When that's done there, we're going to take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row 3 across the middle there, followed by a dark oak wood up and down stair facing that direction. Same thing over here. We're going to place down a row of three green terracotta across the middle here, followed by another up and down stair like that. So this up and down stair turns into a corner stair. Once uh, that's all finished there, uh, we want to go ahead and then go over to the other side here. This other side, we're actually going to switch this out for uh, two mossy cobblestone walls, um, as these two sides are a little bit different. So. Um, Make sure to take that into account here. Uh, when that's done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood up and down stair over here on the right side. And then we're going to place down a green terracotta block here in the middle and a mossy cobblestone wall over to the side like that. So again, make sure um, these two sides are a bit different from each other. So just make sure that those are the two sides are good. We then want to place down a dark oak wood top slab coming off this mossy cobblestone wall. And we're going to place down a top slab coming off of this stair as well to the side. And then coming off this up and down stair, green terracotta block and mossy cobblestone wall we're going to place down three uh, dark oak wood top slabs across like that and in the corners we just want to go ahead and place down a zombie head 
like that in the corners there for the turret. Now with that all done, we're going to go ahead and go over to the right side here. We're going to take some birchwood slabs and for a bit of detail, we're going to place down two birchwood top slabs along the side there for a little bit of like cargo on the side there. And we then want to go ahead and take some birchwood signs and wrap them around these um, birchwood top slabs. And that will be like a little bit of cargo we're going to have attached to the right side there for a bit of detail. Over here on the other side, however, we do have a little bit of addition we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame. We're going to place down an item frame on the side here of the second mossy cobblestone wall, followed by a green terracotta block in it, and then a dark oak wood sign over that, like that for some detail there on the side there. When that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves stone buttons, and we're going to place down a row, or basically two rows of five here of stone buttons, and make sure the stone buttons are facing that direction and not this way. So like that, going back. We then want to grab ourselves some spruce pressure plates. We're going to place down two spruce pressure, spru two spruce pressure plates on top of those uh, shulker boxes. And then we just want to take our rails and we want to place down a row of five of rails across the back here like that for um, some vents. With that all finished, that is going to wrap up layer uh, number four for the build. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number five. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and take our birch slabs and we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of birch planks going across those dark oak wood stairs like that. After that's done we're going to go ahead and then take our dark oak wood uh, slabs and we're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight dark oak wood slabs going forward followed by a dark oak wood sign on both sides of this slab on the end here. And also on the bottom of the slab we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door like that. Once uh, that's all done, we're going to go, ahead and go to this birchwood planks here. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone button on these two planks like so. And then behind these planks, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of green terracotta. Now over here on the right side, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood strip log. And we're going to place it down sideways. So we have the kind of bottom of the log like that facing toward the front. And then coming off of it, we're going to go ahead and place down a end rod just like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to the other side here, and on top of this green terracotta block, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair. We then want to go ahead and place down a uh, zombie head coming off both sides, uh, basically come off the stair, and also this dark oak wood stripped log. When uh, that's done, we're going to go ahead and go back from the stripped log with a dark oak wood stair, and same thing over here as well, and then a row of three of green terracotta going across there. And we're then going to place down a redstone repeater on top of these narrow breakups down the stairs. Just like that with the notches flicked back. When that's all finished there, uh, we want to go ahead and then grab our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of three across the middle here. We're then going to place down a sh green sugar box on each end, like this. And then we want to place down another row of three of green terracotta across here, followed by again a green sugar box on both sides like that. After that, another row of three, another green sugar box on both sides like that. And then we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves stone buttons. Over here on the left side, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, and three stone buttons. And over here on the right side, we're going to place down one and two stone buttons. Uh, when we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves levers. And on the uh, on the birchwood top slabs here, we're going to place down levers on top of them and flick them in to toward the turret itself, like that, to kind of create like straps or something connecting it to the turret itself. When that's done, there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves mossy cobblestone walls. We're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall coming off of these shulker boxes on both sides there. We're going to go ahead and start off on the left side, placing down two green terracotta blocks, and then we want to go ahead and then place down a spruce wood plank over here to the right side. On the green terracotta block to the left, we're going to place down an iron frame, green terracotta block in the iron frame, and a dark oak wood slab over it. And then over here to the spruce wood plank, we're going to place down a trip bar hook coming off of it like so. And once that's all finished there, that is going to uh, wrap up layer number five for the build. With that, we're going to move into our last final layers, which are going to basically be putting the radio antenna and top of the turrets on. So with that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our uh, next layers. We have uh, basically layers six through 11. For these, uh, we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going to the top of the turret here. We're going to place down one, two, and three birch buttons across those three birch wood planks. After that, we're going to go ahead and take our dark oak wood trap doors. We're going to place down a row of three across. We then want to place down a spruce wood slab on the right side here, followed by a row of two of dark oak wood slabs over to the left side. So just like that. Once that's done, we're going to place down a spruce wood slab over here on the left side, followed by two dark oak wood slabs over to the right. We then want to grab ourselves a zombie head, and we're going to place down a zombie head here on both sides, like so. Once that's done, uh, we want to go and then place down a 
uh, dark oak wood stair right here on top of that choker box. And we're also going to go ahead and swap this dark oak wood slab right here out for a dark oak wood stair as well. Behind the dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down a spruce wood slab or spruce wood plank, followed by two dark oak wood stairs coming off the other two sides here of the spruce wood plank. Actually, one coming off the back here, and then this stair right here is going to be a mossy cobblestone wall. Next to the mossy cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like this. And then going back from the uh, dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down a zombie head at about a 45 degree angle. So just like that. And then we want to place down a dark oak wood slab back like so. And this zombie head also over here on the right side is going to be um, just straight. Like, or sorry, the zombie head on the left side is going to be just straight like that. And also we can go ahead and grab ourselves a green carpet and we can place it down on top of this stripped uh, dark oak wood log. Uh, when that's done, on the back section here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door on this green terracotta block. And then in this on this uh, shulker box here at a 45 degree, we're going to place down a zombie head just like that. When that's all finished there, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood fence post on top of these two blocks. And then going up from this fence post, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four iron trap doors up. And same thing right here, one, two, three, and four iron trap doors up. Over here on this dark oak wood stair, dark oak wood fence post, and then one, two, three, four uh, iron bars up, just like that. And once you have that all complete, that is going to wrap up my design for the Centurion Mark 1 heavy, or, or main battle tank, sorry. Um, and with that, that's going to end this tutorial. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the build. If you do end up using this design, I do ask you guys give me proper credit for it. This has been a thing from the side of the build, to my channel, or this video, if this does appear in your social media sites. As long as you guys uh, give me credit for the build, you're free to use your favorite projects you guys are working on. Have fun with the build and enjoy it and all that fun stuff. And with that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your 2 4 and I'll see you guys next time.